Hey, hi, hello everyone. Today I want to talk about how you access all 500 characters of Sapphire Script font. You can use this for all of your fonts that have additional glyphs, characters, ligatures, etc. But of course I'm going to show you it with our hand calligraphy font because I created this thing to be a dream with over 500 characters and I want to show you how to access all of them. All right, so this is what happens when you type in the font as is and you can see in the word access there's a couple things happening we've got this double c that looks a little different and we've got this double s you can see both of those s's don't look the same but otherwise the characters are pretty much the same like both of these a's in characters are the same both these d's are the same so if you do want to turn those off you can go over to window type and paragraph and what you'll get is this guy so if you go to this open type path you can see that this is turned on with standard ligatures those are ones that come in no matter what you're doing and so if you turn that off you can see the two s's became the same the two c's became the same but what we've programmed in here is some common pairs um you'll see a couple common ones t a you see how that t actually changed when i added the a and also t t whereas if you turned this off it looks a little weird because both of those are overlapping there so if you turn it back on you get that so I programmed a bunch of those in there automatically but how do you access them if you want to use them and how do you access all the additional options that we've programmed in for every letter for instance every capital letter has at least three options that you can choose from for the best look for your piece so we're gonna window and back to type and you're gonna open glyphs we have a longer tutorial on this if you want to check it out that I'll link in the corner here for you. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing Sapphire Script, you can get all the standard ligatures, everything we've shown you so far um, in our standard version. And then you can get all 500 that we're gonna show you in a second in our extended version, both of which will be linked below. So when you go here, what you see is the entire font. And at the beginning, you have all the main characters. We have all these little punctuation, numbers, etc., And then you'll get into the part where we have all of our options for language. So you can see the different accents that we have there for you. So we've coded in all kinds of language support. We've got our little S set. I spoke German in high school, so that's the only one that really makes sense for me. And then after that, you'll see all of our standard ligatures. So we've got this see which is a good one this ION is a great one so if I were to type in something that's ION you can see it automatically changes that IO looks like that and then when I add the N it changes into one character there which is this ION character the same thing is gonna happen with any of these things you see in this row all the way to this double T so if you do a TH I love that one because it makes the font look like it's really personalized in calligraphy. That's exactly how I would do a TH in calligraphy. But then we've got all kinds of other things. Those are in stylistic sets. So the easiest way to access those is just by highlighting and you'll see all the different options. If you click over here, this is alternates for current selection. It'll also show all of those. So then you just basically click and it'll change between all of the different options. There we go. So basically highlight, you see all the options. The same thing would apply for any of these other letters. Cute, cute. Like this G is really great if it needs to go under something. Like if you have G, I, N, Jen, of course I'm thinking about alcohol right now. This G is really cool because it goes underneath everything as opposed to the normal one which just connects so it just gives it that really cool hand calligraphy feel that we wanted for sapphire script so a couple other things that are really fun are roman numerals so a lot of times what will happen in fonts is you'll end up with like the third and it just looks like this three eyes in a row how ugly is that like if you had um henry the third, it looks super weird. So what's gonna look a lot better is if we do a Roman numeral. And I've actually programmed these in here 
you can do it in a lot of different ways, but I've programmed it in here as an alternate for the number. So when you highlight the three, you just go in there and you've got the third and it looks a lot more legitimate. We've got four, we've got five, all the way up to 10, which is programmed in for the zero. When you're typing in addresses, there's this weird thing that happens if you have 40, 54th Street, 51st Street. It just looks a little bit odd and you really wanna have those ordinals up there. So I've actually got these programmed and you have to go to the glyphs panel to find them. And they're a lot smaller. So we've got our second, we've got third, and we've got fourth. And they look awesome in addresses. So you do have to manually change them, but if you're doing a lot of addresses using our InDesign data merge technique, then you can go ahead and do a find and replace all. And the last thing that I definitely wanted to show you is that I programmed in a couple common words as glyphs on their own. So my favorite, absolute favorite one is this two right here. And how cute is this? So if you're doing a big envelope you can just go in here and put this to as like a fun element and then you can put the address in something that's a little bit more legible if you're worried about using calligraphy for the entire thing for the record I use sapphire script for invitation um, envelopes all the time and it's no big deal but this little two combination is really cute as well and I love it so what else have we programmed in here we've got from so that could be on a return address We've got and, which is a really great one if you're making wedding invitations. You can use the word and instead of just typing in the word right there. It automatically makes that change for you if you do type it in. And then we also have four, which is really fun. As compared to what it would look like if you just typed it with all the initial characters, it just gives it a little bit more of that fun calligraphy look. So just as a reminder to find all the glyphs, you get a window type and glyphs if you're using any of the adobe programs it should be in a very similar type place if you're using any different programs like microsoft word you can still access all of these but you're going to potentially have to look up character map on your computer which you can find typically just by doing a little search function and bringing that box up so check out our other video which has more information on how to use glyphs here in the corner. I hope you'll like this video and subscribe and comment with any questions that you might have. If you wanna purchase Sapphire Script and have access to all 500 of these characters, I may of course be biased, but it really is lovely and has that wonderful calligraphy, unique handwritten feel to it. Um, then make sure you grab that standard version and extended version are linked in the description of this video. Thanks everybody.